Welcome back to NHL tonight. As we mentioned earlier, uh, Andre Tourney is sticking around the desert for a few more years. The Coyotes tweeting out that Bear does, in fact, belong in the desert. Three-year contract extension taking him through 2026-27, and we are so happy to have the head coach of the Coyotes joining us now. Although he's not in Arizona, we just found out you're up in Montreal moving your son into college. So, congrats. I know you're a busy guy. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, first and foremost... Congratulations on the new deal. Why do you believe that this team has what it takes to take a, an even bigger step forward this coming season? Yeah, it started three and two years ago when uh, we met with Bill and talked about the plan. And uh, Billy was talking about how he wants to do it. And he knew we will have to rebuild uh, and get assets for two years. And then after, hopefully, get good veteran to surround our young player and start uh, climbing slowly but surely. So... He respect every step of the way, and he was been true to his word. And uh, the commitment from ownership was there as well. So, so from there, uh, I, I I love the plan. I embrace the plan, and uh, to see us uh, staying with the plan and uh, going through the grind, I, I I think I enjoyed that 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 process, and uh, I think we did uh, good with the expectation we had, and uh, we we want to keep go doing the same thing and. Uh, Keeping go doing a good job with the expectation will be ahead of us. Uh, we know that the expectation would grow, which is a good thing because when the expectation grows, that means you have um, uh, a better quality uh, group of players. So uh, we want to go in that direction. Congratulations on the extension. Um, not only an extension for yourself, but you have your assistant coaches locked up as well, which I know is really important for you. Well, why was that such a, a, a big thing for you as you went and signed this three-year deal? Well, I... Uh, First of all, I have a, such quality staff, and I believe in the in the teamwork and having guys like John Madden and Corey Schwab on our staff who won Stanley Cup. Uh, Kyle Bocek do a really good job in the skill development. Hans is a lead video coach and make my life way easier. Me, makes me look way smarter than I'm, I'm really am. So <laughs> I, I need I need him on the on the staff. And and Mario is my partner for a long long time, and we had a lot of success together. He's a friend and. He's a guy I, I can trust. I know how he thinks. He know how he thinks. So, so to be together uh, was really important for me. And having Blaine Forsythe joining our our staff this year was uh, it, it brings a lot of experience. Win Stanley Cup, all of it. So uh, I think this it's not about one guy. It's about all of us together having a good chemistry and making good thing happen. And I could not see myself walking in the office and say. You know, guys, it's great. I have a long-term commitment, but you guys will see. We'll see what happened at the end mm. of the year. So I, I, I did not like that. That fact, we we're all in it together. We, uh, those guys are guys I trust. Uh, guys, I, I believe in. I know them. So uh, they were uh, for me. It was all in all together. That's great. I commend you on all of those things, especially yeah. taking care of your assistants. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great job. Hey, you know, in the past or since you've gotten there, uh, the media at the in the summertime has not been good to the Coyotes. They never say anything good. Now, I think you guys are on the verge of doing something special. I think you got five new veterans coming in, uh, if I'm if I'm right there. And uh, is it a different approach for you? this year or is it going to be the same um let's work hard let's uh defy everything of what people say and just do what we do or i i think your expectations are higher this year as well yeah our our expectation are higher bruce you're you're totally right but but noise every team has noise you coach in canada there's a lot of noise whatever the reason there's a lot of noise you coach in a passionate hockey market you have a lot of noise on, on, on us for, for the youths, it's kind of a, it's been a long time for the, the media from across the league who I assume something's going wrong with the youths. It's easy. It's easy to, to go at those guys. So, so we learn to just block all of this, take care of our own business, do our thing. And if you do your, if you do the right thing, if you do your business right, at some point people will say good things. But if you try to make them say good thing, it's just your focus at the wrong place. That's mm -hmm. not my job. My job is just to make sure we do things right. Our player play hard. We win games. We have more success than what's supposed to be. And then people talk the right way about your team, about the, your player, about you as a coach. So 
we need to take care of our own business and don't be worried, not being worried about the noise and what people can say and what they will say that that stuff we cannot control. So we want to really be focused on what we have to do and do abstraction of the noise, focus on what we have to do. And if we do a good job, people will say good thing. But if we don't, we give just ammo to people to throw it at us. So we cannot do that. You know, I applaud you for uh, that mindset because it, it must be distracting too, especially not knowing the future of the building situation and everything going on. There is a lot of noise out there. So uh, I applaud you for, for really trying to, to have that message with the guys. And, and you're right, there's a saying, winning cures everything. So if you guys put yep. quality product on the ice, uh, the rest will kind of all fall in line. And along those lines, it is going to be a, a different looking team for you. We showed the off-season additions that you've made. Bruce mentioned the veteran guys that are coming in. You've gotten you used to this group of mostly younger guys over the past three years how do you expect or, or what kind of challenges do you expect uh, you might face just kind of trying to get everyone to mesh now that there are so many additions yeah you're right that's 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 a big challenge because you have a lot of new guys and guys who will be in the key role and we have a good young veteran you know our leader or young leader but they they're growing in their role for the last two years and now they're at the stage where uh, they uh they have more confidence, they're more assertive. So we're heading in the right direction, but that doesn't mean it will be easy. When you have a good chemistry and you have a team of veterans, you cannot take it for granted. It's tough to keep the ball rolling and Bruce can talk about it when he was in the wash, okay, there. That last year doesn't guarantee you anything this year. So when you have a group like ours, where you have a lot of new players, you need to build that, that um, that chemistry, that cohesion between the player, we cannot take anything for granted. We need to, we're not saying hey, last year we're working hard, or, last year we're doing this. That's that's over. Now we need to do it again. We need to keep building our brand, who we are, who we want to be, and we need to be serious about our business and taking care of every day what we have to do. I'm sure when the season ends, you're, you're looking at things uh, that you want to improve, right? And you're always looking to, to make improvements in different areas of the game. So just from a, a coaching standpoint, as you go into this next season, new players and all that, which is great. Is there any uh, aspect of the game that, that you really want to dial in and, and try to uh, be better at this season, whether it's special teams or even strength play, offense, defense? All of the above is a good answer. <laughs> but, the, you know, I'm, I'm a really critique guy of, our work as a coach or as a team i i, I want to be uh i want to be as critic as possible i don't i don't want to be sensitive of, of anything so uh for sure our road record we want to attack that we want to address that with the player we want to bring solution for me i always say there's a, the philosophy is not bringing 80 percent problem and 20 percent solution because you're down you need to bring the problem 20 person problem but 80 percent solution we need to bring solution for every problem so our road record our special team work power play and pk both of them has to be better and obviously uh, if you look at our numbers we, we finished i think 26 in the league so mm -hmm. there's a lot of thing we want to be better want to be better offensively want to have more possession want to be better defensively want to defend our slot better we were really we we're pretty good on the rush against to defend but we we cannot take that for granted. We still need to keep improving our neutral zone play to keep slowing down opponents. So, so that's the coaching world. Every summer you try to uh, find every little detail who can make your team better without being too complicated or bringing creating confusion in the head of your players. So it's uh, you need to find the right balance of making the right adjustment, not making too many adjustments. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for the time and the insight that you shared with us. We'll let you get back to your family as it is a big time for you guys up in Montreal. But again, congratulations on the new deal, and we cannot wait to talk to you again once the season gets underway.